In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform proportional stratified sampling. Okay, let's look at an example here. So the setup or the problem setup here for this example, let's say the registrar would like to know who is applying to enter their School of Business diploma programs for the coming fall semester so that they can better, better target their customer segments or a particular customer segment. Um, question. How do we perform a proportional stratified random sample to collect 30 applicants from the program types below? And let's stratify by program code. And we want to sample 30 applicants total. And we want to figure out, let's just call this customer segments. We want to look by program. We want to um, sample from each program proportional, proportional to how many students there are in that program, if that makes any sense. Now let's go ahead and start this out and have a look. Okay, so there are a bunch of different program codes. When you scroll down, uh, it's fake data, but I've made a thousand, I've stopped at 1,069 for the row number. It's just over 1,060 applicants, roughly. Um, I've kind of made a fake, uh, unique application number or application ID number, if you will. Um, where the, the second letter is this program code. This first letter might be the school code if you had one. Anyways, I digress, but not. But let's say we were trying to figure out how many unique program codes there were, so that we could go count how many students there are applying to each of the programs and then stratify by those program codes. So I'm going to use a fun technique here under the data tab and advanced filters. So I'm going to go highlight all the program codes here. I'm going to click on the top and hit control shift down. Okay. Now in the data tab, I'm going to go to advanced filters. I'm going to put this list that I want to generate right here in D8. And I want to output only the unique records there. This will tell me all of the unique program codes that there are. Instead of having to go look through them and see which ones there are, this will just put that unique list right here, wherever I want it. I'm gonna put it in cell D8 right here. Click OK. And there we go. So this is the list of unique program codes. If we would might like to make them a little bit nicer to look at too, let's go back to data and sort. And let's sort by program code A to Z. And now they're in alphabetical order as well. And now I'm going to do a count on the number of applicants in each of, or applying to each of those programs, if you will. Okay. Um, so how I'm going to do that, I'm going to use a count if. So count if. I'm going to go look in this range. I'm going to lock that, hitting F4 for each, and then comma. I want to go see if this program code is a B. That will tell me how many Bs there are total. Okay, so there are 107 Bs. Beautiful. And since I've referenced the B and locked the reference to the whole data set here, now I can just double click and get the count for each of the codes. Okay, so that's interesting. There are roughly the same number of applicants for each code. Um, to be honest, I didn't think of this complication when we're doing proportional stratified sampling. So give me a minute here. I'm gonna doctor my data a little bit so that we get differing numbers of applicants in each of the codes, just so that our proportional stratified sample is a little bit more interesting. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Um, no, you'll never have to randomize the data or kind of like generate it falsely um, in general. Um, I do have videos on, on simulations and Monte Carlo simulations for making fake data. That's kind of an, a whole nother topic in and of itself that's a little bit more advanced. So for our case, you will have data 
and then you will just be grabbing from it. Um, so you won't have to worry about making um, your randomized uh, fake data before you then stratify. Anyways, okay, so let's say we now have this number of applicants in each of these program codes. Now, let's say we want 30 applicants total. Um, so let's figure out how many of each group to sample. So easiest is to go do this. Let's sum up how many applicants there are total. There we go, sorry, I forgot my equals. So we're gonna do equals sum and we're gonna total up all of these applicants. Okay, so we have 1,061 of them. And now let's figure out how many of each of the groups to grab. Let's say we want 30 applicants total. We are going to take 30 times by this number divided by the total to figure out how many of each of the groups to sample. So I should sample roughly three of this first group, three of the next, three of the next, three of the next, and so on and so forth. Um, now, let's also just do this here so I can doctor this. That's quite a small sample. Let's bump it up to 100 and let's do it like this. Let's say we wanted to sample 100 students instead. I'm going to just cell reference that so that I can doctor my number of, um, or my, my sample size, if you will. Okay. So now I get slightly different numbers of each. So 11.02 for the first one. Or if you will, we're going to round that. We're going to grab 11 of them. So round to zero decimal places. Beautiful. So we're gonna actually sample probably close to the 100. Let's see how many we're actually gonna sample here. I'm just gonna copy that sum call. So it'll be close, 102 of them. Okay, beautiful. And yeah, we can mess with that a little bit if we want exactly 100, but if we're hoping for close to 100 and having it proportional, um, then uh, let's just grab two extra people. So what we need to do is grab 11 of program code B, uh, 10 of program code C, 10 of program code D, and so on and so forth. Um, so I'm not going to do all of the sampling here. That's quite tedious for all these groups but I'm gonna show you how. So next step, what we would want to do is isolate each of the program codes and then sample using a simple random sample from each. So let's just take a look at program code B and let's do the simple random sample on that group and we're gonna grab 11 of those guys. And those 11 will then be combined with the 10 from program C, the 10 from program D, and so on and so forth. So let's just have a look at how we would grab all of the program code B people and then sample 11 of them. So we do that here by highlighting, control shift down, highlighting everyone, and under data, and filter. This is a nice way to grab or filter by just program B. And then in this drop down, I can uncheck everything and just select B. There is my group B. Beautiful. I'm just gonna go um, and I can control shift down to grab them, copy that group. And I'm just gonna put them in a new tab here. Beautiful. And I'm gonna paste special them here. So these are all my program code B people. And now, same as in simple random sampling, I'm gonna generate some random numbers. And then I'm gonna sort by those random numbers. And I'm gonna grab the first 11 of those. So I'm gonna do an equals rand call. Equals rand. I'm gonna drop that down or I'm gonna double click to drop that the whole way down. I then need to go and lock those numbers by copying them 
and pasting special them. Beautiful. And now, control shift down, highlight this whole group, go to the data tab and go to sort and sort by this random number column that I just made. And I'm gonna grab the first 11. Let's just do this. These first 11, beautiful. And that makes up the first part of my stratified sample. Um, is these first 11. So these first 11 are going to be part of um, my proportional stratified sample. They will be the people from program B that I grab. Okay. Beautiful. So there they are. Those are my 11 people to add. Um, I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to go and do the same thing for all of the program codes and then I will show you what that looks like. Um, also see the video description link here or the video description with the link in it to grab this Excel file. Okay, so here we go. I actually went and sampled from each of the codes here, these program codes. Uh, I grabbed 11 from program B, 10 from C, uh, 10 from D and so on and so forth according to our guideline here of how many to sample, sorry, uh, how many to sample here in each program. Um, so I did this for each one and I did that simple random sample from each group and I did it proportional to how many applicants there were in each group. Uh, and then I went and compiled this all into one sample here where I have the 11 from program B, 10 from program C, and so on and so forth. And this becomes your proportional stratified sample where you grab these individuals or these applicant numbers from each of the groups. And it is random, but random from each strata and proportional to how many there are in each group. Whew, okay, and again, there will be this Excel file posted um, and I'll just show you really quickly here where it's going to live. It's going to live, um, I'm going to put a link to my, um, my open education book here uh, and there are the different uh, sections. There's going to be a uh, proportional stratified sampling section that will have the Excel links. Um, in the previous video, I showed you simple random sampling, and there's also that Excel file there to download. Okay, thanks for watching.